Number 11 then from paper 1 of the 2018 Higher Maths, up to 5 marks for transforming a function. You're given the graph of y equals log 3x, and you've to sketch for 2 marks the graph of 1 minus log 3x. Well, it's a log graph, but for this part it doesn't really matter. You're just carrying out two simple transformations. First of all, the negative of it. The negative of it flips all the y coordinates, so that's going to flip over like this, meaning that point 3, 1 now becomes 3, negative 1. The 1 at the front adds 1 onto everything, so it lifts up 1 to here. So it's going to be crossing, of course that shouldn't touch the y axis, it's going to be crossing the x axis just below the 3. So something like that, for instance, where that's the new point there, that's now 3, 0. And of course the point 1 is now just floating up in the air. I'm not sure if they won that point in, it would have been up 1, which is should have been level with that. I'll try and force it in there. That's the point 1, 1. I don't think that was required though. So there's the graph of y equals 1 minus log 3 of x. B. Determine the exact value of the x-coordinate of the points of intersection, the point of intersection of the two curves. Well, that simply means this will equal that at this point of intersection. The two y-coordinates must be the same. So that log 3 of x must equal 1 minus log 3 of x. I'm guessing that'll be the first mark. Bring that over. That means you've got two lots of log 3 of x to equal 1. There are several different ways of doing this. I think I'll just go through this route and take that across and make that a half. You may well at this point reconstruct that as log base 3 of 3 and pop that inside and have log base 3 of x squared is log base 3 of 3. So x squared equals 3, but I think I'll just do this. I'll take the 2 across to leave log 3 of x, get rid of the 2. No, I'll get rid of the log. Inverse of log base 3 is 3 to the power of half. Now, of course, that means you've got the square root of 3, and it is the positive square root because x has to be greater than 0.